There are many ways to get the things that we want for ourselves in our lives. But basically, it all begins with how we choose to think. And once you know that what you think about is what expands, you start getting real careful about what you think about. You don't allow your thoughts to be on anything that you don't want. Change your whole approach of how you see life. And it will help you to get to that next level. It'll help you to get unstuck. Wherever there is investment, there's frustration because investment creates expectation. Anytime you invest, you have expectation. And anytime you have expectation, you have the potential for disappointment. You can't be disappointed if you haven't invested anything. The only way you can come out of unhappiness is if you choose and say, okay, it's going to be a long journey. It's going to take a lot of time. And I'm going to try and try and try, but I'll get there. What do most of us do every day? We watch negative news, we swipe on toxic positivity, and we, we're just drowning ourselves in negativity. And then what happens? What happens is we become really good at being negative. We become really good at finding what's wrong with life. We're basically, we're basically configuring our brains to be unhappy. There is a lot of fighters, but not everybody can become champion. Champion become when you can handle all this pressure. This is between the difference between fighters, just fighters and champions, you know. I, I, but I handle this and uh, I control this. Life ain't fair to nobody. You just got to fight through, man. You got you to bite back sometimes. Most people fail in life not because they aim too high and miss, no. Most people fail in life because they're just like I was for 14 years. They aim too low and hit, and many never aim at all, not at all. They just go through life surviving. And how people live their lives is a result of their state of mind. It has been said, you don't get in life what you want, you get in life what you are. We become what we think about. All of us are self-made, but only the successful will admit it. In order to be successful, you must be willing to do the things today others won't do in order to have the things tomorrow others won't have. Your mind is a machine. You must program yourself for success. There's more in you right now that's represented in your bank account. There's more in you right now that's being reflected by your life right now. Your life is not a true reflection of your potential. You have greatness within you. You have the ability to do more than you can ever begin to imagine. The absence of purpose we will start digging holes in our life. In the absence of doing something meaningful, we will start literally binge watching TV, binge eating, binge drinking. Any vice will lead to self-destruction, holes in your life. You don't have to be great to get started, but you have to get started to be great. There are things that you're gonna be able to do that eye has not seen, ear has not heard. There are things that you have in you that you don't even know. But until you get outside, outside of your comfort zone, you will never discover it. You have something special. You have greatness within you. But in order to manifest your greatness, you've got to put yourself in a perpetual state of discomfort. You've got to challenge yourself. You've got to raise the bar on yourself. You've got to get busy. You've got to work your plan. Even if you've got a job right now, you've got to work yourself out of it. You've got to have an exit date where you say, hey, I've had it. It's time for me to do me. Most of us were raised to become ordinary. Ordinary is you go through your life and you fill out the forms and you pay your taxes and you do what your parents tell you and you're honorable and you're honest and you're a good citizen and then you die. Extraordinary is something very, very different. This is about recognizing within yourself that there's something very, very extraordinary that you haven't been trained to believe in to come to a place where you can apply it and put it into your life. You can go way beyond ordinary. You can go way beyond just being average. All of us are extraordinary. We just have to come to believe it. Whatever you want to do, believe it, believe it, believe it. Even if you don't believe it, play the game of belief. Act as if you believe. That is power. That is sheer power. 
the good heart, to lead you in. Your brain is the most powerful weapon in the world. If you can't control your own brain, and your brain controls you, you're you got to tell your brain where you want to go and how you want to go and how you want to get there. You got to control. If not, it's over. Your mind has to be stronger than your feelings. Think about every poor decision you've made in your life. There was more emotion that was involved in it than there was mine. Every single one of them. Think about it. Really your feelings keep you in bed. Your mind tells you, get up. When I wake up in the morning, I don't think, am I motivated to go do what I'm supposed to do? No. When the alarm clock goes off, I have no thought about whether this is easy, whether this is hard, whether I want to do it, whether I don't want to do it. None of that matters. It's an emotionless, thoughtless discipline. When the alarm clock goes off, you get up, you get out of bed, and you go do what you're supposed to do. I don't care how it feels. I don't care if it's easy or hard. I don't know what your future is. But if you're willing to take the harder way, the more complicated one, the one with more failures at first than successes, the one that has ultimately proven to have more meaning, more victory, more glory, then you will not regret it. Whatever you choose for a career path, remember the struggles along the way are only meant to shape you for your purpose. The more people believe in you or like you or help you or support you, the more people hate you because it creates an opportunity for envy. The only way to avoid it is to stay down. If you lay dead, even the animals won't bite you. The risk of being bitten is the cost of getting up. And you have to decide, are you so concerned about being bitten that you're willing to spend the rest of your life laying dead? Or is there something pumping down inside of you that says, bite me or not, I'm getting up. I'm going to be the best me. I'm going to do all I can do, even if it risks you hating me. I'm going for it. Listen to me, man. You have a great life in front of you, but your great life is in front of you. It's not behind you. What you did back there was learn the lessons to get you to where you are at this particular moment right now. But quit tripping during the process. Pull yourself together and quit tripping because you in the process. God is processing you. He ain't through with you. If he was through with you, you would not wake up in the morning. Do it broke, do it scared, do it nervous, do it trembling, do it on your knees, do it with help, do it on crutches, do it in a wheelchair because you don't want to end up in a nursing home sitting on a bedpan wondering what would have happened if you'd only had more courage. You don't want to end up in an old folks home and your dying thought is, I wish I had him. Because the one thing that you will never get is more time. So you don't have time to allow your fear to incarcerate you when you have the key. Reach around there, unlock the door and step into your destiny. This is why I try to tell you, Anything and everything can be done if you can visualize it and if you believe in yourself. I'm addicted to one more. And so I want your mantra going forward to be one more. I want to win. I want to be somebody. I want to separate. Spend your whole life imagining ghosts, worrying about the pathway to the future. But all there will ever be is what's happening here. And the decisions we make in this moment, which are based in either love or fear.